Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use MPEG Stream Clip to compress video. So I get asked this question a lot. You create a video in iMovie and you end up with a file that's just too big. Maybe it's over the size limit for a service you're uploading the video to. Maybe you need to send it to somebody or maybe you need to put it onto a disk and it's just too large. Well you can use a free program called MPEG Stream Clip to compress the video even more than what it's compressed when it comes out of iMovie. So here I'm running MPEG Stream Clip and on my desktop I have a video. It's actually an episode of MacMost Now directly exported from iMovie. If I select it and get info on it you can see that the file size is 139 megs. And I want to make it a little bit smaller without losing too much quality. So I'm going to start by dropping the video into MPEG Stream Clip. It will appear in there. And then I just simply go to File and one of the export options. Now I want to export to MPEG 4 for the most compatibility and I get this window here that has all the different options. So I want to use the H.264 compression. That's pretty standard now. The next three settings here are all about quality. So you're trading the speed at which you compress the video for quality. So if you have all the time in the world to make a video you might as well crank it up to 100% turn on multipass, turn on B frames. If you're in a little more of a rush or you want to try out some different compression rates you may want to have it a little bit lower. Now some of the transitions and some of the special effects in, from iMovie won't look as good with these settings so probably in your final video you want to crank it all the way up. So the most important setting here is limit data rate. This is where you can actually make your file smaller. You check that and you get to set a kilobits per second. So let's set it at say 2000. And you can see here on the right it gives me the approximate size of the video. Now all these other settings really don't affect it. They're all about quality. This is saying exactly how much space per second of video that it's going to use. So in this case 72 megs is about half the size of my original video. I can make it even smaller. Make it about 40 megs by doing 1000 kilobits per second. So you can experiment with this to find the right file size. Another setting you want to pay attention to is sound. You want to leave it at MPEG4 AAC sound. Uh, you may want to play with whether you want stereo or mono. If it's just a voice or some general audio you may want to switch to mono and you may want to actually decrease the rate here. These are equivalent to the settings for MP3 files actually. So this will significantly cut a few more megabytes off by just having mono at half the kilobits per second. And if it's just voice that might be fine. Now I can't stress how much the quality settings affect the compression time. For instance if you have a long video and a slower iMac you may end up taking hours to compress a video. Whereas if you set the compression level down, turn off the quality settings you could do it in just minutes. You could experiment with the rest of the settings if you like but those are the primary ones. Then you just hit Make MP4 and give it a file name and a location and it will begin to export the video out. All right, now that I'm done, I've got the original here, which you can see is 139 megs, and the new version here, which is advertised, is just over 36 megs. I can compare them by opening them both in QuickTime Player. So this is the new one, and I can scrub along it and see some of the quality there, the screenshots quality there, the video with me in it. And then I could compare that to the original one. And you can see it's not too much of a difference. There is going to be a quality difference. But I get a lot smaller file size this way than with the original. Now I do recommend a lot of experimentation. You have to figure out how much quality you want to sacrifice for the file size. One thing you may want to do is make a very small sample movie like maybe just about 10 seconds of the video and export that from iMovie and then try a whole bunch of different settings for bit rates, for quality levels inside of MPEG Stream Clip. Find out which one you want and then you can use MPEG Stream Clip's presets to save that as a preset and use that over and over again while making your videos. So I hope you like this look at compressing video with MPEG Stream Clip. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.